Today, at the Congregational Church of Birmingham, United Church of Christ, we conclude our Summer of Psalms with one final and triumphant celebration of the ways God is holding our lives. St. Augustine said, the one who sings prays twice. Confucius said, music produces a kind of pleasure which human nature cannot do without. Martin Luther said, as long as we live, there is never enough singing. And he said, music is the art of the prophets and the gift of God, the greatest treasure in the world. John Wesley said, sing lustily and with good courage. Beethoven said, music is the language of God. Nietzsche said, life without music is no life at all. Robin Williams said, music is God's little reminder that there's something else besides us in this universe, harmonic connection between all living beings everywhere, even the stars. Kent Nurburn says, I sometimes like to think of God as a great symphony and the various spiritual paths as the instruments in the orchestra. The gift that you have is like music waiting to be played. You need only to find the instrument that will best bring it out. You alone can never play all the instruments and your music might not find voice in all the instruments. All you can do is find the instrument that suits you best, play it as well as you can, and add your music to the great symphony of divine creation. Now let's sing to God with the music of Beethoven. Psalm 150 in the Complete Jewish Bible Translation and the Ruth Burgess Paraphrase. Hallelujah! Praise God in the holy place. Praise God in the heavenly dome of power. Praise God for mighty deeds. Praise God for surpassing greatness. 
Praise God with street rap. Praise God with Bach cantatas. Praise God with a blast on the shofar. Praise God with lute and lyre. Praise God with tattooed hands. Praise God with arthritic hands. Praise God with tambourines and dancing. Praise God with smiling eyes. Praise God with stuffy noses and pockets full of hankies. Praise God with flutes and strings. Praise God in stained glass sanctuaries. Praise God in public houses. Praise God with clanging cymbals. Praise God with loud crashing cymbals. Let every living, breathing, big and tall, short and small, beloved creature praise God. Let everything that has breath praise God. Hallelujah. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Now let's sing to God as the words of St. Francis of Assisi and the music inspire us. This is a time for children. I'm Carmel Tinnis, the director of Christian education. Today's psalm says that we should praise God with a blast of the shofar. Do you know what a shofar is? It's an ancient instrument made from the horn of a ram or, or a male sheep or goat. It's made by hollowing out the soft insides of the horn and letting it dry. Once the end is cut off, there's a place to blow into, like this. <coughs> Synagogues blow the shofar to welcome the new year, Rosh Hashanah. It is said that the shofar is blown to hear the voice of heaven. <coughs> Do you think it sounds like the voice of heaven? Now, when the Hebrew people were wandering in the wilderness, the sound of the shofar called them to break camp and get moving again. Since they had sheep and goats, they had horns. 
What do you have that you can use to make music to praise God? Do you have an instrument? Do you have your bucket from Sunday school that you can use as a drum? Do you have hands that clap? Let's use our hands to clap and sing a little song together. The words are very simple. Praise God, praise God, all you little children. God is love, God is love. So let's clap together. Praise God, praise God, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Repeat it. Praise God, praise God, all you little children. God is love, God is love. Oh, that was lovely. There is a sweet sound that can slip past the gates of the heart, furtively evading all guards, finding cracks in the battlements we have constructed. There is a majestic sound that urges the body to dance for joy, that enthuses the heart to sing holy, that riles the spirit to justice. There is a sorrowful sound that allows the voice to lament, that opens the eyes to weeping, that releases the well-sequestered hurt. There is a noble sound of pipes and of voice that marries the mind and the heart, that unveils the eyes to see, that transfigures the spirit the handmaid of the word of God. Music, sweet music, holy, holy, holy. Susan Palo Cherwin says, we sing to remember because people forget. May God always be our vision, our wisdom, our true word as we sing together. Be thou my vision. 
like poetry, is a language the heart can grasp. The joining of breath and spirit in song is an incarnation, a bringing into body an embodiment. Music opens the locked gates of the heart where we have hidden ourselves away. And in the open heart, God can sing to us a song of innocence and expectation and love. The open heart can bear to hear the truth, and the heart, once opened, knows the secret song of life abundant. Music is a language the heart can grasp. Open our hearts, O God, open our hearts, and fill us with the sweet songs of your voice.
Different types of music stirs us to different actions, different emotions, different moods. Music can heal. Music can destroy. Music can soothe. Music can agitate. Music can rile. Music can comfort. The trumpet blasts that leveled Jericho's walls were not the same music that, from David's lair, caused the tormenting spirit to depart from Saul. Different music stirs us to different action, different emotion, whether we like the music or not, whether we are aware of it or not. Music can uplift. Music can debase. Are the songs from our hearts trumpeted after power, ruthless and smug? Are the songs from our hearts driven by loneliness and servanthood? Are the songs from our hearts shaped by the presence of the loving Christ? May our footsteps follow the songs which God has put in our hearts and bind us together in love. Let's sing. <laughs> Hear this poetry of God's blessing. A thousand voices proclaim God's goodness, prairie grass and cricket and stream, pope and sheep herder and woodsmith, porch and steeple and vault. And that singing, that voicing, that breathing, that bringing to life shapes the singers forms and reforms lives that act of praise, acts upon us, bringing us to becoming, becoming who we should be, shaping us into God's goodness by the incessant, insistent, incisive power of God's song, God's word. May it be so. Amen.